Welcome to the Kind of Nerdy News with KJ. You are a really dumb grown adult. I feel like I stare at her face a lot and it's doing weird things. And Katie. In other news, I live in a cave. I mean, that's like the entire premise of the alien movie, though. It's It's just... Here's KJ and the Kind of Nerdy Girls. So, Katie, uh, you remember in the last podcast how we were talking about uh, all these... Uh, segmented apps, like everybody's getting their own app, and CBS wants you to get their app for Star Trek, and Uh Disney wants you to get their app for their stuff. Yeah, I remember that conversation. And I was like, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Have you changed your mind? Well... (laughs) <laughs> oh, here we go. What made you change your mind? Um, they announced that there's going to be a new uh, live action Star Wars show. What? Their budget for this 10 episode series is a hundred million dollars. I mean, if they gave me a hundred million dollars, I would. Right. Now, I would they're not giving me a hundred million dollars to sign up for their service, but. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be, It's well, it's already written. Uh, the, uh, John Favreau wrote it. So. I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, he's happy in Iron Man. He's like his security guy oh, in the Iron Man movies. Right. You see, in yes. Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay. So not only is he an actor, he actually directed the first Iron Man. And he has been involved in a lot of the Marvel movies and a ton of stuff behind the scenes. He's a really... Uh, a, a really great behind the scenes guy. Well, if he's a good Marvel guy, does that mean he's going to be a good Star Wars guy? I I don't know. I mean, you they're know. all owned by Disney now. I don't know, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. And in addition to his show, I guess Disney has like nine. They said at least nine movies in production or development that will uh, be on the Disney app, including get this, a live action Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> like with dogs or well that's what it would have to be right i mean i mean how, but how are you uh, gonna get two actual dogs to do the spaghetti scene also if it's live action they're they're dogs they don't talk <laughs> I, I think you skipped that really important detail right <laughs> i don't know man but i was i mean as i was reading this i was like these jerks it's like it's like they listen, not that they did, because I know they, they totally do. no one at Lucasfilms or Star Wars listens to our podcast, but it was like they did, and they were like, ha, 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 KJ, yes, you will get the Disney app, because we're just going to announce this, that you can't resist. Can you, or can't you? I don't know. You know, the Star Trek one I did, but I am not as big of a Star Trek fan as I am a Star Wars fan. I am not one of those, like, either or, like, I'm not going to fight you and say one is better. Yeah. I like them for different reasons, but I definitely am more of a Star Wars fan. I think I go back and forth. Okay. With Star Wars and Star Trek. Okay. Because, like, the first one I, I ever liked was Star Wars, of course, mm-hmm. uh, because it's on, I think it's ABC, like, every weekend. Yes. So, you know. Um, and I never got around to seeing Star Trek ever until I was, you know, in my adulthood. Mm-hmm. But I like it. Yeah, I uh, I got into Star Trek with the Next Generation because I had a crush on Will Wheaton from Stand by Me. Oh, <laughs> so, so that was what got me into Star Trek to begin with. Uh, and then when Chris Pine became Captain Kirk, Speaking I was of like, Chris Pine. "I'm in." Yeah, I love Chris Pine. He's yes. got beautiful blue eyes, doesn't he? Yes. But I was watching The Princess Diaries too oh, because so it good. came up on Netflix. Yes, and I like The Princess Diaries one was up there like two or three days ago. And I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's 11 p.m., but I can fit this in before midnight. I oh, have to watch it. So sure, I yeah. watched it. And then the second one with, that he's in, and I I guess it never clicked that that was who that was. Oh, you didn't realize that was Because I was Chris watching Pine? it this time around, and I was like, I know who this is. <laughs> I can't remember his name. <laughs> what? But I know who this is. It's Captain Kirk. He does look very different. He right? does. He's got a little bit shorter hair. Yeah. It's kind of more brown than mm-hmm. blonde, you know, but like you can't mistake those eyes. No, you can't. And I was like, wait a minute, I know this. So yeah. I went on the IMDb, IMDb page and I was like, oh, it is him. Oh my gosh. 
I, okay, and this is, well, hashtag ad because I'm saying it, but I appreciate that uh, with Xfinity that you can like pause it and get additional info now. That's kind of cool. I can just do it on the screen. Other, because my husband can't handle that. Like if we're watching something and he knows he knows this person from somewhere, know. he has to stop right there. Yep. So I watch him grab his phone and I'm like, you're missing very important parts of the plot here. But I gotta know, <laughs> you know? Now, so the now problem I with can that. tell, I see, I see his eyes working and I'm like, info. And then the, it pulls now up the Now the Captain problem crew. with that is I want all the info so the movie would never get finished. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. No, I, I don't. But he, he's a very handsome man. I mean, I will later... Be like, okay, now that I have enjoyed this movie, I'm going to go back and figure out who that per- mm-hmm. where I knew that person from. But I don't need to do that in the moment. There's a guy that does, um, like, all of the documentaries that my mom watches. He's the voiceover guy for. And uh-huh. I can never remember his name. But I know that voice ah. because it was in Oblivion, which was a game I played okay. years and years ago. And he played the annoying fan. <laughs> um, was that the name of it the was one, was yeah. The annoying yes, fan. Yes, that was the character. <laughs> And it was one of those, like, you recognize it because you get, like, flashbacks to it. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, that character. But, no, it was him. And I was like, I know this voice. Because I was just listening to him watch, talk about, like, nature or something. Uh-huh. And I was like, wait a minute. I know this voice. And I spent, like, 45 minutes trying to Google who this was uh-huh. because I didn't know his name. Ah. So, like, I had to go back and look through, like, the credits of Oblivion yeah. to find who it was. And I was like, oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. <laughs> he's the annoying fan. He's the annoying fan. I'm sure he's thrilled to know that he's known as the annoying fan. Oh, you're the annoying but fan. But you would recognize his voice if you heard it. Really? Yes. Okay. All right. You know who does a lot of voiceover stuff now is Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. I, I always know that voice because that is, my name's Jack Bauer. I know his this face, the but like, I've never seen him in anything. You're, you've never seen him in anything? No. You didn't? I can't think of any movie that I sat down to watch that he was in. You never watch Flatliners? You love no. all that thriller stuff. I never got around to that. Oh, I thought it was kind of like, boring. Well, how do you know it's boring? You didn't get around to it. No, but the concept seemed kind of boring. Okay. No, it was it was decent. And you should see The Lost Boys. Because that's just, I mean, that's what got girls loving vampires, baby. Uh, <laughs> you sure it wasn't Interview with a Vampire? No, I th- it was Lost Boys. I mean, I uh, Lost Boys was targeted towards, you know, like, I was the when Lost Boys came out, I was the age uh, that all the girls went crazy when Twilight came out, right? Yeah. So that was where I was at in my life. But Lost Boys is a much better movie. Like it's a, I, and it's getting close to Halloween, so you could watch Lost Boys. It's basically already Halloween, KJ. Uh, I know. Well, this is the thing. You love Halloween, so I let's do. kick it off with the Lost Boys. Kiefer Sutherland is going to be here. Can we just do like two months of Halloween? I don't care. I okay. do like. Okay, great. I'm glad you're on board. I do like three months of Christmas. I mean, I keep. Really? I keep my. Well, no. I put my Christmas tree up. I would like to put it up before Thanksgiving so that it's not so crazy, but we do put the Christmas tree up the day after Thanksgiving. Then the day after Christmas. Well, no. The day after New Year's. We keep the Christmas tree through New Year's. And then the day after that, I take all the decorations off and I put a bunch of St. Patrick's Day oh, decorations you just on. Skip New Year's. And then right. we actually celebrate St. Patrick's Day from January 2nd to St. Patrick's Day. But the Christmas ah. tree is up. The tree itself is up from November through March. Mm-hmm. So I don't judge anybody if I if you want to celebrate. See, I put up my Halloween decorations like as early as possible. See, you, would you like to but, come to my house and watch Lost Boys sometime? We I'll put it on the big screen in the uh, in the basement. We can eat popcorn and uh, candy, and your mom can sign a note that it's okay for you to come over. Oh, I have to have like a hall pass. Okay. <laughs> I needed a note from my mom to see that movie. I wasn't really? old enough. It must have been. I don't know if it was R or if it was PG. Did the movie theater PG. accept a note from mom? She, well, she showed up. My kid is yes. allowed to watch this movie. She had notes from my two friends because it was around my birthday. It came, because it came out, my birthday's in September. So it came out, you know, before Halloween. Uh, so my mom, that was what I did for my birthday. And my mom got notes from my two friends, uh, parents. And then she showed up and she was like, here are the notes. And this is my daughter, and they, they have permission to go. My see mom this would movie. just roll up with however many kids, and she'd be like, "Yeah, I need like twelve tickets." Ah. And they're like, "Okay." <laughs> no, it's a it's no a, questions it's, asked. It's, it's a fun movie. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I, I only mean, think of like Peter Pan. Ke- uh, what? Lost Boys. 
Um, Peter Pan. Oh, no, it's not anything like that. This is Vampires. Like, this is like a... Like a new version, and uh, Pan, uh, the grand the grandfather from Gilmore Girls is the like head vampire in Lost Boys. Okay, that was one of those things where I started watching. I when I started watching Gilmore Girls, I was like, I think that's I, on Netflix now. I know this guy. Oh, Gilmore Girls is on Netflix. Yeah, is Lost Boys? I don't know. Uh, the only Lost I know is Lost in Space. We'll find a way. Did, have you started? Did, did you start watching the new Lost in Space? No. Um, it's okay. It is downloaded and in my queue for this 15 and a half hour flight. But. Uh, let me know. I'm like three episodes in and I haven't been, um, you know, like dying to go back to it. So let me know what you think of it. I didn't hate it. I just, it, we, we weren't like, oh my God, we got to keep watching that. So let me know what you think. All right. I would love your thoughts. Um, by the way, did you hear uh, that Harry Potter's going back in theaters? Aren't you so excited? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Dun, 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 uh, there's dun, dun, going to be a marathon. Dun. It is uh, Cinemark's Wizarding World XD Week, whatever that means. Uh, August 31st through September 6th, you can get, it's a $25 pass to see all the movies. And they're including Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> Yes. Uh, there is only, I wonder what kind of rush this is going to be in Indianapolis because I looked it up. There is only one Cinemark theater in all of Indianapolis and it's in Greenwood. Yeah, it's on the south side, isn't it? Cinemark Movies 8, Greenwood Corners. I've never been there. I think there. I know the right where that is, I'm, actually. I've never been there, but man. Like, I have no sense I'm of for <laughs> looking at a map and knowing where things are. Yes. But I think I know exactly where that one is. I think it was by my old school. Was it really? Yeah. You went to school on the south side? Yeah. I thought you were always a caramel girl. I am. A caramel light. Yeah. But you went to school on the south side. Yeah. You, Indy. Oh, that's right. Okay. Maybe you kind of got something useful out of that. Kind of. Follow us on social media on Instagram at Kinda Nerdy Girls, on Twitter at Kinda Nerdy News, or on our website at indiesmix.com.